Mohammad Fahim is sitting in front of me. He gave a lot of dot data and as he's the president of our society as well, and uh, also leading the anchor uh, center in Pakistan. I will, inshallah, finish uh, uh, at the green card, inshallah, uh, by the blessing of uh, my colleague, Dr. Majid Al Ghamdi, because he has covered half of my slides, mashallah. Thank you, Dr. Ghamdi. So, and Dr. Bilal gave a lot of uh, things in uh, this presentation. So, it's mostly just to tell you the background and our theme, the way we are working. Number of calculations, again, uh, we have to follow something. So, IEA is our you know, main source. And uh, this is where from the federal capital, Dr. Mohammed Fahim belongs to their Islamabad. So, they have two centers over there 34 in total in Pakistan, eight in Karachi. Every day we are finding new people coming up, setting up centers in private sector, in Atomic Energy Commission, and also in provincial governments as well. So this is the way the provinces are divided here. Uh, we have four provinces, as you know, KPK, Punjab 13, Sindh 12, and Karachi is a part of Sindh. And we are now having MR Linac 1, and then Halcyon, Cyber Knife, Kama Knife. So it's a full range of all battery of equipment from one corner to another corner. And we still have cobalt uh, functional, which we are using for palliative uh, uh, purposes. But this is our distribution in the country. When you see this uh, PAAC, this is Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission. This is the only authority in the whole world, which actually uh, deals with 85% of cancer patients radiation facility. So which is a very big number for any country. And Dr. Mohammed Fahim represents that uh, anchor uh, center which is called Nuri, uh, Nuclear Medicine Oncology Radiation Institute in Islamabad, which is our capital. And then you see the provincial hospitals, 10%, private sector, because I am representing whole Pakistan here, but I personally belong to a university, which is JCI accredited university, but that only represents 2.6% of patients, and it's called Aga Khan University in Karachi, uh, which is in private sector, uh, no profit, no loss university, run by a trust. Then comes the, uh, our centers, which are 19, and all centers are having MDT tumor boards and uh, all centralized uh, systems for radiation oncology, although chemotherapy is more widespread. Uh, these are our linear accelerators, uh, 44 across Pakistan, and again, uh, we have at least 12, hopefully this year, which are coming up, inshallah, to 2023 to 2024. These are our own in-house uh, PET CT and MRI. So the technology is there, people are there, but it's a matter of waiting list. It's a matter of access, which is all over the world. So we are facing exactly the same uh, problem like anywhere in the Middle East. Uh, Dr. Gandhi has very rightly covered two different things. Like we were just blindly following the Western models, which was our fault actually. And I will show you some data on that as well. So this is our brachytherapy facilities. We are uh, one center using the eye applicator, interstitial brachytherapy, and intracavitary. Professor Pinal, a lot of work that he pervades doing all this. So hopefully we'll be a very active part in Mestro brachytherapy initiatives. Uh, inshallah, uh, we will try to learn from you, people who are uh, in the forefront. This is our TPS and OIS, mainly is ARIA. Uh, then again, we have Ozak trying to build up our own systems. Pakistan has very good IT backup uh, in Pakistan. Many of the things we are making ourselves when it comes to software and hardware. I hope that we'll be very close to making our own hardware and our own software in China. Because in other uh, sites of industry, we are making it. So radiation oncology, hopefully, uh, we will enter in this paradigm. All over the world, you will find in Silicon Valley as well, many Pakistanis are working in IT sector. So this is our hope and that's our vision for future and hopefully best true, uh, we will be here for assistance, inshallah. This is global shortage, very well covered by Dr. Majid Al Ghamdi. I don't have to repeat and get a red card. So better finish on green card with Dr. Pinal. He's very strict in discipline, time management. 200 Linux we have calculated according to the models which you have just mentioned, Dr. Majid. Uh, so this is a number which was going up to 220. So believe me, 230 million people live in Pakistan. So only few came in Mestro today. Just imagine if we have the same proportion coming here, there'll be no place to sit even on the stairs and on the first floor as well, in the lobby. So 200 Linux, 
uh, we need and 44 by city which is Karachi. Uh, this is the color uh, diagram which is from IA 2018 already shown by Dr. Bajit. So this is uh, something a picture speaks more than thousand words. We all like twins. Twins are miracles of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So twins in developing countries get zero machines, but if you want to get twins, get two, and they have to be mirror image because we don't have clinical engineering backup. They leave the country when we train them. It's very difficult. Attrition is very high. Service contract, we don't know how to do. We don't have trained people to even sign a service contract. So buying a machine is one thing and running a machine is a different thing. So what we have come across is that what we call in our language, kela, never a kela. If you want to eat a banana, please eat two. Don't eat one. That's not good for your health. So that's why I put this picture here. So that picture speaks more than a thousand words. So it will stay with our our sister Nuri's, uh, Nur is, Nur, Nur Uri is very happy seeing this because now she's going to sell two Linac to us. Same applies to Electa and Akure as well. So I'm not representing any industry here or any vendor. So this is actually our uh, another endeavor, which I thought just to show you is that we thought that without developing MTT site-specific tumor boards, we will be nowhere. So that's we started voluntarily. Most of the Pakistani things happen voluntarily on philanthropy, not by the state. And Dr. Fahim has a lot of effort in this, and Dr. Bilal here, Dr. Maria Tariq, everybody here. So we actually started doing it from that let's start the MTTs first. And that's where we got a lot of experience, which we have uh, as a group, as a team in Pakistan, we have 38 publications on the topic of MDT tumor groups, highest number of any country in the world. Because we took it actually seriously and we thought just to work on it. This is purely a pediatric one, which all credit goes to my mentee, my student, and my proud uh, boss. In fact, he's our section head nowadays. Dr. Bilal Mazhar Qureshi, uh, he has developed all this on countrywide. You can see all these are interconnected. We don't see is paying, is in private public sector. But when it comes to tumor boards, we are set and we try to discuss every case. And this is our site specific pediatric boards only and non-clinical boards Then we started. So we got some addiction then. You know, once you get addiction, you cannot stop. This is the problem with addiction. So once we got clinical MDTs, then we thought just to take one step forward. So Dr. Lara Khan, she's clinical engineering. She got some interest in that. Uh, because her husband is also a clinical engineer, maybe that's the reason. Then digital health, because we are working on 3D printing now. So 3D printing we brought as bolus. We brought it into the oncological surgeries now and in radiation oncology. So 3D printing is something in which we are taking the lead. 3D biology, our colleague is sitting here. He is our faculty member, non-clinician. And that is our strength, which we proudly pre present all over the world. That in our department, we have five clinicians and one non-clinician who is a radiobiologist, a PhD. Marshall has spent 10 years in Japan, has done a lot of petri dish uh, experimentation. And I hope that we will be in Mestro, we'll be very, very happy to help Dr. Saad and colleagues and Dr. Mushabab for radiobiology uh, in this region, inshallah. And we will be very happy to take part in that. And theranostics is something tomorrow. So we have established our MDT and for radiomics and AI. In AI, I know my colleague Caroline, uh, Dr. Caroline has a lot of interest. So I think this is something which is futuristic. So that is what our vision, that we started thinking non-clinical as well and took our boundaries beyond the main vision of a uh, doctor. So you know, doctor only thinks about seeing just patients. But I think we need to train clinical engineers because they are the owners of the machine. They sign the machine. Now, these are our MDTs from November onwards. As I said, addiction is something you cannot stop once you get addiction that goes on. So we actually are working on cardio-oncology. And Dr. Bilal is now taking lead in adolescent and young adults because this group was fully ignored. Because when they go to the adult, they say, go to kids. When they go to the kids, they say, no, you are adult, don't come here. So these get very much bad, like, like the middle brother. You know, he does not work, you know. If you say something, he says, go to the big brother. You go to the younger. So this is the problem. So on for nutrition, we were losing patients. Our patient died of head and neck. Pakistan is all head and neck, 60%. 
I was talking to our lead colleague from UK that 60% of our patients are head and neck squamous cell carcinoma. So we are losing them actually, just not because they are dying of cancer. And you know, people and family were saying, oh, cancer is a bad disease. Mushab, you know, he died. Oh, he died of nutrition, not cancer, for God's sake. And then, you know, so, so we made a full MPT on that, inshallah, we are making on fertility. So that we are now, mashallah, getting survivors. Uh, status is shown by Dr. Majid Al Gandhi. Uh, yellow card, thank you. And uh, rare tumors and for rehab. So I'll finish here. This is our connection. Mastro is our big connection. We are very sentimental about where we are very emotional. Uh, about Mastro, inshallah, we will be playing our part in that. And on this, I finish, and then we are having a booth outside for our youngsters who are making a federation for the whole Mastro. Young residents will be standing here in this podium after 30 years. Thank you very much for listening to me. And this is Dr. Nuri's data, which is provided to me by Dr. Uh, Fahim. And then again, in the interest of time, and that's our pioneer project, which we are doing with Italians. Thank you very much.